Okay, hello everyone. We're going to talk about C++ one more time, and today we're going to talk about um, a type of variable called float, which allows <coughs> which allows us to uh, use decimal points. But first of all, I'm going to create the application you're just using integers, so then you can see the difference between both of them. So uh, I want to create the I want to create the um, uh, the programming from from start from start. So uh, open your Notepad plus um, plus, and then let's start typing. Um, include greater than IO string. Uh, make sure that the language is like to C plus plus using name space std. Let's start the application integer uh, main function open brackets. And so I'm going to define two variables here, but I'm going to make them if I'm going to make them integers, okay? The first one will be um, integer feet and integer uh, meters. Okay. Um, now let's prompt a message. Count. And let's put a space here. That backslash and creates a, a blank line. And so the user now needs to enter the uh, user now. The user now is going to enter a value, which will be the amount of feet. So let's say, you know, 6.2. Let's say if you're 6 too tall like me, then you put 6.2. Okay, so um, whatever that that number will be will become the feet. And now let's do the calculation here. And we're going to say that total meters, so meters, equals to feet times... 0.3048. So, one feet in in uh, meters equals 0 .30, 0 .30 meters. So, this the calculation here, and then we're going to display the result. Cl Cl to be feet so 6.2 is meters. Then we're going to terminate the application, return zero, and close brackets. Okay. <coughs> so again, we're defining two variables here. Um, but keep in mind that these variables will have will have uh, um, decimal value, so the, the, first, the, uh, the result of first will be incorrect, but we're going to change it, and then I'm going to present you with a new uh, type of, uh, type of uh, uh, variable. So we define two variables, feet. So this is what it's saying. Uh, console output. So this is going to be display how many feet to meter. Okay? And then it's going to skip a line, and it's just going to sit there waiting for somebody to type, some, type something, and whatever they type in, that's going to become the feet. Okay? And then there's a calculation that goes that happens internally, so that the, the user does not see this at all. And what it's saying here is going to happen is whatever that that whatever they enter, it's going to be multiplied by point uh, 3048. And this the result of this multipl multiplication right here will go inside meters. And so here we're going to display feet. We're just going to repeat information. So let's just say they enter five feet. It's, it's, so the it's going to say five is whatever the amount of meters is meters. Okay, return zero. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, file save. I'm going to say I'm going to save as test. Uh, te save as test. Dot cpp. Save it. And now I'm going to go and compile and run it. Um, cmd. And then go and cpp. 
5 ECP. So now I'm going to compile ECC32 test.cpp and I'm going to run the test. So here, how many feet to meter? Let's just say, so I'm going to put as tall as I am, I'm 6.2. Enter, that's your result. 6 is 1 meter, which is incorrect. And the reason why that's incorrect is because we're using the wrong type of variable. So now I want to present you with the float variable, which uh, allows um, allows decimal points. And um, instead of doing this, I'm just going to do it all on the same line, kind of waste. There you go. And now let's just save it. That's all we have to change. Everything else is still the same. So Control F S. Go back in here. And what I'm going to do here is compile again. Recompile. Enter test. How many feet? Let's use the same amount of feet that we used earlier. So 6.2. Enter. And there you go. 6.2 is 1.88 meter. So that's the correct answer. So just for you to see a new type of variable flow. Thank you for watching.